Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 575, In Christ Called to Baptize. This hymn was written by, the text at least, by Ruth Duck. And she composed it for classmate at Notre Dame. I think her name was Anita Stauffer. And it was composed for a Lutheran World Federation event in Hong Kong in 1997. In 1995, though, is when the text is copyrighted. Well, what happened there was the request was made to write the text or compose the text in May of 95. So then by the end of July or by July, Ruth had finished it. So she submitted it and copyrighted it at that point. So that's why we see 1995, even though it was really just presented in 1997 uh, for the Lutheran World Federation in Hong Kong. So in 2003, this whole hymn was circulated throughout, apparently, all the churches in the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. So it's very well known, I think, because of that. It was paired with the tune, as you see here, St. Dino, very famous hymn tune. And this uh, St. Dino was originally probably likely a Welsh ballad, believe it or not, but it doesn't have that ballad effect. It probably has more of an Ashgrove effect, uh, the other hymn tune. So uh, John Roberts found it in a collection that was, I'm not going to read the actual translation, uh, the words in the language, but it was titled Music for the Sanctuary. And so it was found in that collection. Uh, and so it's really attributed more to the as you can see here, John Roberts, 1807 to 1876, so early 19th century. Uh, most scholars would put the tune more in the 18th century. It does have this little interesting musical quirk, if we want to call it that, that it begins with the C chord, which in the key of G, one, two, three, four, that's the subdominant. So it's very rare, but it gets back to the G so quickly, and because they're so close, their primary chords anyway, in the key of G, C is a primary triad in G, uh, it works out very nicely. So maybe there's too much critique about that. Uh, the nice thing about this text also is that it does definitely cover each verse, baptize, banquet, and witness. So that would pretty much explain why it's in the vocation and ministry section of the ELW hymnal. Interestingly enough, Ruth Duck retitled it because she didn't really feel after it was dispersed that In Christ Called to Baptize was a really good title for it. She thought maybe, and she declared this, it was her text, In Christ Called to Worship. So of course we have In Christ Called to Baptize because it was already copyrighted in 1995, but the actual uh, person that wrote it, Ruth Duck, at least the text, she changed it to In Christ Called to Worship, which I think that has an interesting message for us, and I'll share that after I play the hymn. So here's In Christ Called to Baptize.
what's interesting about this is I mentioned earlier in the video that Ruth Duck retitled this later to when Christ called to worship. It certainly does have to do with baptism, but if we start uh, looking at the text and singing the text and praying and looking at it, it does really refer more beyond baptism, worship, uh, the banquet, the witness, the preaching, the different ways, the life-giving gospel, but it also reminds us that worship is also a part of baptism, uh, in my opinion, as we sing this hymn. So a lovely introduction to an old tune, but with new text. Thank you for listening. <laughs>